Hey guys, how's it going? So we're back at it again. <clears throat> uh, this is kind of a uh, Fiero update. Slash, we're gonna get some uh, stuff actually done on it because um, let's be honest, I've been slacking this winter. Uh, I've been working on uh, a lot of my um, little projects and kind of getting ready for other projects and my mom's pickup truck, whatever, gotta get that done. So. The Fiero is really close. So what bolts up the turbo to the exhaust manifolds is complete. Now, I still have to header wrap it. I'll show you in a second. Um, the turbo's on there and little kind of like dump pipe is made. Uh, don't judge my welding because I'm super new at it. So it's like me learning. I'll show you what I have done right here. So I don't really have it out on the bench, but it would look really cool if it was on a bench. You guys kind of seen it on the one video. Uh, sorry for the kind of humming slash kind of fiery noise in the background, because that's my heater, because uh, again, Canada. So the turbo is mounted. It looks like a bunch of spaghetti down there. So I do have two gates. This is uh, one of the gates, which is piped in really nicely. Um, super happy how that turned out. Mint. Anyways, so this is piped in to here, which goes into one side of the turbo, and the other one runs right down back into the other one, or back into the other um, exhaust manifold, manifold. And then there's another gate on down, right buried down there on that manifold. So uh, what I had to figure out last time is this side needs to be gated and this side needs to be gated. So I had to buy two gates, that's all together so this side is done so I'm gonna pull this out and pull my turbo out I'm gonna header wrap this and then there's a pump down there which I'm gonna get out as well uh, that pump was kind of a crutch something I was trying to do to fix the smoking problem but the smoking problem with this car was the turbo was not sitting straight up and down it was sitting on a really hard angle so let's do that let's get this stuff apart and then I'll show you on the bench kind of how it looks. she be ugly uh, ugly welds and all you know again I learned how to TIG weld kind of sort of on this project maybe not the best thing to do fitment life you know uh, but some of them turned out okay you know um, my hands not very steady and my, I'm learning it's still better than like that stainless mag and that stainless TIG probably gonna leave a little bit more heat there but anyways so that's what it looks like that's the hot side um, kind of wild looking. Uh, it's kind of snaky. It looks like snakes or spaghetti or whatever, especially when you have everything hooked up. But. So, this, not too worried about how it looks. It has to be structural. Don't care too much how it looks because it's, uh, it's going to get header wrapped. So, I'm going to do that. Actually, I think I might do that right now just to get it over with. Header wrap this baby. Alrighty. Okay, so, I got this uh all header wrapped and done uh this is the product i use um it seems to work good um mark gave me this so shout out to mark if you're watching probably not but anyways thank you mark um so i did do this one dry mainly because i didn't want it sitting all this wet sitting and this is kind of mild steel and so is this and it would just get all really rusty but this straight pipe i did uh do wet like you're supposed to you're supposed to soak them wrap them <clears throat> now i just use gear clamps here and right there and then one there 
So I do the gear clamp thing because A, I'm cheap, and B, if you place it just in the right spot, just like that, nobody's gonna know, that looks mint. So, now that that's all header wrapped and good to go, uh, my next task is, moving on over the ferrule, beep, 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 beep. Okay, to remove this pump down here. Now, if anybody's familiar with like SGS kits and all that good and cool stuff, that's uh, essentially what this pump's for. It's a really good, high quality pump, and it's mounted in upside down. We both fucked that up. That might have been my fault. My bad. Didn't know that you had to mount them a certain way, but uh, it still seemed to work. It worked just fine. Um, other than mine smoke, so hopefully it's not just because this is mounted upside down. Anyways, so I gotta get this out of there to make room for the exhaust that's gonna come straight down kind of in this area. That and there's no point of keeping it around. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's do that. By the way, there's my other gate. It's all the way down there. And uh, she's a bronzy orangey color because she was used because these cost a lot of monies when you bring them up to the Canaders. That's a real tile. So this I didn't have to change, which is really nice. So that gate, it gates this bank, and then the other gate gates this bank. Moving on to getting this pump out, and then on to maybe cutting, which is gonna hurt my brain, but yeah, let's do that. All right, pump's out. This is what it looks like. Hold on with one hand. Ooh, leaks a bit, eh? So uh, yeah, it's supposed to set up like this. I had it like that. That's not good. This is good. I'm just gonna drip oil all over the place. Anyways. All right, it's okay. So it's all in there. I didn't uh, really film putting in there, but it's in there. So um, I kind of still just have this um, kind of mounted. I just put a couple of bolts and I tightened it, uh, tightened it kind of semi tight because I'm going to have to take this off still to cut my hole. So at this point in time, this is done. So the pipe comes through here. Oh, look how fancy it looks. This is uh, adjustable a bit. So I have to do, 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 do. You see right there, right in there. I'm able to zoom in for you, right there. So that's the amount of material I need to take out. So up here, I need to take out this much, something like this. Um, again. I don't really want to, but I do know if I ever turbo this again, uh, it change the setup again, I might go big turbo someday down the road or whatever my plans may or may not be. I still want the intake piping. If I zoom out on here, beep beep. No, nope, too far in. Uh, I still want the intake piping going in this vicinity to go and go with the original side scoop. Original. Uh, the original one was flat. This is an aftermarket one, but regardless, there was a side scoop here. This is an upgraded side scoop. And I want it to be in this area. Um, keep in mind, it's not going to add too, too much airflow, but at least I'll be taking air from the right place instead of up in the engine bay. Because I have no need, because before it kind of sat right up here, the air filter. And that is not really ideal i'm gonna shust that a bit so what i'm gonna show you is a little bit uh, kind of weird and unorthodox so this is the piping i have it's pretty thick wall piping looks fairly decent it's nice it's a three inch piping and at the end of the day this is a drive shaft so what i did is i ended up going to the junkyard and picking up some drive shafts so if you know the junkyards, they always list them with big forklifts and they cause this denting with the forklifts when they pick them up. Obviously this is off of a pickup truck, specifically this one is a Ford Ranger. That one there, the bigger one I think is off another Ford um, and then the, another three inches off of a Chevy. And then again, I have more in here. Another piece there, really nice big piece here. And I believe I even have some adapters, kind of, sort of. Yes, right here. So this is also a piece of drive shaft 
really cool because it goes from a four inch to a three inch. Actually, I think this is slightly bigger than a three inch, but see how nicely that wall thickness is? That's mint. So to end this video, I am gonna try and take my little Everlast and uh, take gold up some pie cuts like so. I'm gonna have to be uh, do, 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 do. like like that. This one's a pretty big pie cut. I might cut them a little bit differently and whatever and whatnot. And what I'm using to cut it with is the same thing I used to cut it with at the wrecking yard, which is actually like a wooden nail bit or a wooden nail saw on my sawzall. So let's see how that works. Um, the car's coming along. Once I get the, this intake piping done, I also have a really sweet k and air filter right here. Nice little Canon air filter that's going to go in there. Uh, originally, that was for low gold. I think low gold is going to get a bigger one. That one's a nice fit for this size. Hopefully, I'm not zoomy zoomy into a face. I'm going to see how this camera angle works. My bad. Anyways, let's get to that. Cool. Right, guys so i'm hoping you're liking uh this fero build uh i'm having fun with it i'm taking my time with it i know i'm not putting out a lot of videos also i'm putting these videos out i'm trying with this video specifically uh through my phone and tell me how you like the quality comment say i'm an idiot tell me how stupid <laughs> my welds look because i mean he died anyways uh so that's gonna end it for this video next video we're going to get this intake on and work on more exhaust stuff maybe get it piping out and i also have to add some more piping to the um outlet of the turbo to go into the intercooler and then come back out into the intake yeah you know Stuff like that. So uh, if you guys can just like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, you'll see some more um, fabricating stuff this year. And hopefully we can get all these hot rods done for the spring. And go rip them and do some burnouts. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.